It's like I picked the wrong week to quit smoking. It's like I picked the wrong week to quit drinking. It's like I picked the wrong week to quit amphetamines. It's like I picked the wrong week to quit sniffing glue. Welcome to Tales from SYL Ranch, where everyone is entitled to my opinion, and I'm Bill Stone. Much to my chagrin and after much soul-searching, I have decided to change the format of my show again. When I first started this channel, it was devoted to reviews of science fiction, fantasy, horror, superhero, and other genre-related material. And I did that for about two years. I enjoyed it a great deal, but my many subs, <laughs> they were never got above 100, and my view count were somewhere in the teens. By any metric, this represents a complete bust. Not that I ever expected to be successful on YouTube or anywhere else. Before I even started, I analyzed what's necessary to even have a chance of success. And it's really, really simple. You must be charismatic, young, attractive, female, and a gamer. If you have all five, you have at least some chance of success. However, the odds are still stacked against you. You should never go into any artistic endeavor with the expectation of success. Failure is far more likely. It's one of the reasons that after spending about five years as a reasonably successful actor, um, which meant, by the way, that I got a few thousand dollars a year working at my craft, I changed over to IT. <laughs> Turns out that I like money. However, the fact that I lack, obviously, all of the attributes necessary for success on YouTube, I just treat this as a full-time hobby. I make videos that I like and hopefully someone else will. Now, obviously, um, if you like this video, please do like it, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and share me on social media. That'll go a long way towards giving me some success but I don't expect it. But doing, you know, reviews was clearly a gigantic flop, so I thought that maybe my age would be, you know, more to my advantage as political commentary, which then I did for the better part of a year. And after a while, it sort of turned into drudgery. I kept having to think of something to say about something, and it got difficult. So I switched back to what I like, which was reviews of commentary of science fiction, fantasy, etc. And I've done that now for about six months. And then George Floyd was murdered, and the entire country started going up in flames. And I realized that in the midst of this particular madness, I have things to say that other people don't seem to be saying. You have pundits on the left, you have pundits on the right, and very few of them have anything useful to say. And furthermore, most of them are on the United States coasts. Their perspectives, necessarily, are confined to their own, frankly, provincial worldviews. Now, I'm from the Midwest, particularly the Upper Great Plains of North America, the area that the coasts rather insultingly call flyover country, and I have a very different perspective. To begin with, I'm not from a major metro area, and so I'm not under the illusion that the entire world revolves around me. And that's part of what makes these yahoos on the coast so problematic. However, not only have I spent time as a child on my grandparents' working cattle ranch, not only have I lived in towns with a population of 1,000, not only did I grow up and now live in a city that's about 340,000, not only am I half an hour from a metro area that's a million people, where I also spent time as a child, not only did I live in Chicago land for about 10 years, but I've also been an actor and an information technology professional. Frankly, I have far more breadth in terms of life experience than any of those yahoos that you see all over the mainstream press and also on YouTube. So, much to my chagrin, I am altering the show's format back to solely political commentary. Now, I will still do a weekly live stream during which viewers can ask me anything, including my opinions of science fiction and related genres, because trust me, I'm still going to be watching it all, and I will have opinions, particularly since our favorite franchises descend into unenjoyable, woke garbage. But now, the time and the day of the stream 
I haven't yet decided. I will leave that up to you. So drop me a comment as to what time or day is best for you, and I will absolutely use your opinion when deciding on the time of day of my weekly live stream. Now for my viewers who came from my take on science fiction, fantasy, superheroes, etc., I'm very sorry, I really am, but I hope that you'll stick with me precisely because I bring to the table a very different perspective than anyone you've ever seen yammering elsewhere. Now for viewers who do want political commentary, well, you have come to the right place. I bring a very different perspective than anyone you've seen yammering elsewhere. And I guarantee that you will hear things from me and see things from me that you will not see elsewhere. I guaranteed or your money back. And that's all I have to say about that. I would love to keep the conversation going, so please leave your comments, questions, and nasty remarks, and I'll do my best to respond to you. So thanks for watching. That is all the time that we have today for this episode of Tales from SYO Ranch, where everyone is entitled to my opinion. And I'm Bill Stone. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing, the control and manipulation of minds.